Have you ever found yourself saying, I'm fed up, I'm fed up, I'm done, I'm bored, I'm all out. Many people find themselves saying these things. In fact, a friend of mine posted this on Facebook last year and all she needed to say was, I'm fed up. And I knew exactly what she meant. She didn't need to explain herself anymore. And what do you do when that happens? When you do feel like you're just fed up, you're fed up with your marriage, you're fed up with your family, you're fed up with your job. You're just fed up of the everyday routine. You're bored, you want something new. The fire in your heart has gone out. The love that you once had, the passion that you once had for that job has been lost. The excitement of marriage has been, has gone. What do you do? Well, the Israelites back in the wilderness had exactly the same problem. Remember when God delivered them from slavery from Egypt and they were taking them towards the promised land and they started to complain. They cried out to God. Basically, they said, I'm fed up. We are done. We'd rather go back to Egypt. It was better before. And God was trying to remind them, look, this is where you've come from. This is what I'm doing in your life. This is how I'm providing for you. This is where I'm leading you towards. Things are going to get better. They have to get harder before they get better. And they didn't listen. All they did was complain, even though God had given them any, everything they ever wanted. And so that's the same for us. Sometimes we have to remember what it was like before we had these things and how unhappy we really were. You know, when you're single, you're, the future is uncertain and you're not sure if you're going to meet someone and you're not sure if it's going to be the right person and you're not sure if it's going to last. And I guess there's a lot of fear there as well. Is it going to work out? And so for people who've already met someone and they're fed up with the marriage, do you remember the way it was before you were married? Do you remember all those fears and insecurities? Do you remember the times of loneliness that you experienced? Do you remember feeling fed up of being lonely? It's easy to take for granted what we've got. And yet now you might have the most amazing children and family. And we're taking it all for granted. It's the same with the job that you have. Remember before you got that job, you were excited about the interview. You were excited about what that job meant for you and the new people that you would meet and sure you get the job and things go very downhill very quickly but it's not always downhill there's highs and there's lows we just forget the highs and we certainly remember the lows but what does it mean to be fed up spiritually speaking what happens when we're fed up with praying we're fed up with going to mass we're fed up of god we're just fed up we're bored there's no fire there anymore well, the early church fathers experienced this as well. They found that the monks in monasteries would very often get bored when they began to pray the Bible because when they read the Bible, it was monotonous. It was, const it was all the time. And so what the abbots would do was tell the monks, say these three words before you open the Bible. And this is the prayer. Viene Sancte Spiritus. That means come. Holy Spirit. And that's the answer. Vieni Sancte Spiritus. It's the answer for every area of our lives, whether you're married or single, whether you're, you're happily married with a struggling family, or whether you're in a job you don't like. The answer is always those three simple words. Vieni Sancte Spiritus. Sometimes we haven't got any more words. We haven't, we can't say anything else that'll help us. It's hard enough getting out of bed. If you struggle to get out of bed, Vieni Sancte Spiritus, come Holy Spirit. And that prayer is a powerful prayer because what you are doing, you're admitting to God that you can't do this by your own strength. And the problem is that you've been doing this using your own strength because we're not supposed to. We're supposed to be doing this with God's strength. Marriage is a sacrament. That means God's strength is available to you. God's grace is there for the asking. And especially in the prayer life, we shouldn't be trying to get to God by our own strength. We don't read the Bible by our own strength. We don't pray by our own strength. Everything we do has to be done by God's strength. And the strength that he gives us is called the Holy Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit is the one who leads us. The Holy Spirit is the one who strengthens us. Remember what Jesus said in the Gospel of John chapter 6. After he was explaining to everyone how his flesh and blood is real food, 
He's also telling everybody that your flesh has nothing to offer, and it doesn't. Jesus said, the flesh has nothing to offer. It is the Spirit that gives life. So call the Holy Spirit back into your family so that your family has life again. Your job has life again. Your own life is filled with life again. Come Holy Spirit, viene Sancte Spiritus. Amen.